Welcome to the Student Services Post-Secondary Destinations video. This video will highlight important information for you to research, plan, and select your post-secondary pathway. All pathways will lead to your future destination in the workforce. Your path to the workforce, however, will involve different education, training, or skills. When considering workplace opportunities after high school, be sure to research your occupation opportunities using the various websites listed here. Ensure you have an updated resume and cover letter. The apprenticeship pathway allows you to earn money while you learn on the job and in class. You get an edge in competitive job markets, you can learn the master skills that are in high demand, and you are a greater advantage over unskilled workers. The next four slides will explain the next steps necessary, current job trends, and financial resources for an apprenticeship pathway. The first step will help you research your apprenticeship and occupation options. Visit myblueprint.ca and use the post-secondary and occupation planners. Also use the Find a Program feature on the OntarioColleges.ca website. Visit the Ministry of Training, Colleges and Universities for more apprenticeship information, pathways and job prospects. Also speak with your parent guardians, co-op teachers, subject teachers and guidance counselors to assist with your decisions. The second step is to explore the pathways to apprenticeship. According to the Ontario Ministry of Training, Colleges and Universities, there are different pathways to apprenticeships. To access co-op diploma apprenticeship programs, you will need to find an employer sponsor, then apply through OntarioColleges.ca. To access pre-apprenticeship programs, you will need to apply to a college program through OntarioColleges.ca. These programs will help individuals upgrade and develop job skills, which can lead to an apprenticeship. The fourth step is to research apprenticeship financial resource applications and deadlines. One such resource includes the College of Trades. They outline a variety of financial resource opportunities that are available for registered apprentices. The following list outlines some of the financial resource opportunities. These grants vary in amount. Go to the collegeoftrades.ca website for more specific information. It is your responsibility to research all apprenticeship programs, pathways, and financial resources. We will now review the steps necessary to prepare for the college pathway. The first step is to research your options. Visit myblueprint.ca and use the post-secondary planner. Also, use the Find a Program feature on the ontariocolleges.ca website to explore college programs, admission requirements, and supplementary application information. Speak with your parents, guardians, teachers, and guidance counselors to assist with your decisions and keep track of your program choices for your application. The second step is to always be aware of important dates and deadlines. The OntarioColleges.ca website will publish important application and admission dates and deadlines to remember. You may also follow the Student Services Department on Twitter for reminders. The third step is to complete your application. Visit OntarioColleges.ca to set up an account, apply, and find more information about program details, restrictions, and payment methods. We will now review the steps necessary to prepare for the university pathway. The first step will help you research your university options and post-secondary program requirements. Visit myblueprint.ca and use the post-secondary planner. Also use the Electronic Info, eInfo website and OUAC to explore university programs, admission requirements and supplementary application information. Speak with your parents, guardians, teachers, and guidance counselors to assist with your decisions. Keep track of your program choices and codes for your application. The second step is to be aware of the important dates and deadlines. Visit the Ontario University Application Centre, OUAC, website for application dates and deadlines. Follow the Student Services Department on Twitter for reminders and upcoming workshops. The third step is to pick up your OUAC access code. Your application access code letter will be available in Student Services at the end of November. Keep this letter for your records. You will need this information to apply. Your access codes are confidential and should not be shared with anyone. Your, your access code includes your temporary PIN, school number and student number. 
Visit the OUAC website to watch their tutorial for more detailed information. The fourth step is to apply to Ontario Universities. You will need to apply online by using the Ontario University Application Centre. You will need the following information to complete your application. A valid email, your PIN code, school number, and student number. A method of payment and your schools and programs of interest. The fifth step is to check the OUAC website for important information regarding the following application fees, programs, restrictions, and payment information. It is up to you to complete and submit your application. Visit OUAC website today. Applying outside of Ontario each province has a separate application process. Do your research and know what the requirements are for each province. Use the Associations of Universities and Colleges of Canada website to do your research and find out how to apply to the different universities outside of the province. Applying to a U.S. or international school. There is a separate application process for each school you should first contact the admissions department of the school you will want to attend for admission requirements. Thank you for watching our post-secondary destinations video. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for updates and important information. If you have any questions, please see your guidance counselor.